Good morning, everybody. It's currently 7 a.m. Um, I got up at 6.30 today to get working. So I'm planning to make a new series called like Journey to UX or Road to UX, um, depending. I'm not sure, too sure of the name right now. Um, but I want this to be more of a vlog type, casual, maybe weekly or bi-weekly video depending. Um, I'm guessing these videos are going to be pretty short of showing you um, my day-to-day -day life of working on my projects where I currently am. So um, this video or series is intended for those who are also trying to break into UX, transition into UX, study UX, that kind of stuff. So uh, I think it's going to be a really fun series and I hope you enjoy. This is definitely going to be more casual. So like I'm, I definitely don't look cute right now. I got up really early, but hopefully it'll give you some value. Um, if you're looking forward to the series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. A quick recap, I'm taking a bootcamp for UX. Uh, I've actually been taking this for around three, four months now, uh, since the beginning of August. It's like towards the end of November, right before Thanksgiving right now. And I'm coming to the end of my first project. Otherwise, I've been thankful to have been working for my school as part of their UX team for something else that's coming up. But the focus for today is to start looking at the style guides and uh, focus on the high fidelity prototypes of my design. So I'm going to show you my design file later on, but I'm going to go get some work done right now. Hey everybody, so it's currently 10.41. I spent uh, around an hour and a half to two hours working on my Figma file, uh, got some breakfast, and now I'm back working on the uh, color scheme and illustrations. So um, let me actually show you what I've been working on so you can get a better idea. So let me turn the camera one second. All right, so this is my Google Drive of where I first organize everything. Um, I have the name of the, the class on top and for privacy reasons. Um, but if you can see there, there's my first capstone and I organize everything over here. Um, so I first started off with general interviews and went on to um, visualizing those things into like affinity mapping. Here's like a cool time lapse I've done. <laughs> so that's me doing all like the posting notes, uh, yeah, post-it notes sticking on the wall. Uh, what else? I went on to like making empathy maps. Like here, where you, yeah, like you try to uh, read more into the mind of what the user does. Um, then it moves on to uh, how might we, and I like just took photos with all the sticky notes of what I think would have been best. Let's see here, and goes on to uh, some other like research presentation um, that I want to do, ideation, uh, user stories, competitive analysis. So like it, then it slowly goes into, went into sketching and that's where you actually like start to um, transfer things onto a physical piece, a uh, physical document. So these were my sketches. I did my sketches um, a bunch of times over again because I just wasn't sure of which direction to go to and I was really new to wireframing. So I didn't really know. Um, I wasn't too confident at first since I was just so new to it, but this is also like a document I I did to track the, which specific user flows I should do for my app. Um, I don't want to get too into detail because this would be like a pretty long video, but I'll I can go more to uh, depth later in another video. Goes on to testing, and then I finally transferred it over to the uh, actual prototyping software, and I'm using Figma. Um, so as you can see here, there's like this template my mentor gave me. Um, I feel really lucky because <clears throat> my mentor is actually a UX lead at Google and going here or in the graveyard. I've done like four iterations so far of all like my ideas, but um, I, I spent like two weeks going back and forth of a specific user and trying to be do more uh, VR things, but I think for my first project, it's, it was a little bit too much, so I'm just sticking with an app. Um, then I moved on to my wireframing, and I did like two more versions of, of that, and this is my, my current version that I think I want to move on to the high fidelity wire uh, frames for. So then over here, I go on to my prototyping page, and this is where I currently am right now. So um, I chose my colors. I'm currently looking um, and trying to sketch out my illustrations. So this is like a snapshot of, of what like I have so far. <laughs> so that is my current file. Um, I think the hardest part of trying to do this first project was I am just so new to everything and I, I just wasn't sure of if I was ever missing anything because I want to do still want it to be a very thorough like well thought out project so um, my advice would be it's like 
the biggest thing that I've learned was there's only so much that I can think about before I literally just need feedback. Like, for example, I could go in a direction for a total week thinking that this is like the, the direction, the final direction that's best, um, that's the best way for this project. But it turns out like I actually need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture and realize that more on a more foundational level, I was missing something. So that those extra that extra week or two weeks of work, I don't want to say went to waste, but it wasn't necessary to go that far to depth. Overall, um, I don't think I mentioned this before, I've been very thankful t um, for my boot camp because my, or like my mentor, um, fortunately he's a UX lead at a very large tech company, um, so he's been giving me really insightful advice. We meet like once a week to go over feedback for my project. Yeah, this is my fourth month doing the boot camp and I'm about to finish my uh, first project. Uh, the first month was just learning about the foundational principles about UX and then we still slowly started to get into like all the research and stuff like that. That's kind of just where I am right now so far. Um, I'm still like learning all of this. I'm not, I'm not like really confident in like knowing exactly what I do, but uh, knowing exactly what to do, but I do feel more comfortable and have a better sense of direction of um, what I need to do next time uh, for my other project. And yeah, I think that's going to be my check-in for today. Um, this is where I currently am with my project and I hope this was entertaining for you to watch. I hope I didn't ramble on too long. I wish I would have started this a little bit earlier to be honest when I just started the, the uh, boot camp, but better late than never. So um, wherever I am so far, I hope it gives you value into looking into like the real day-to-day -day life of what I'm doing with my projects. So um, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps it push out to more aspiring UX designers like me and you. Uh, so um, I would really appreciate that. Feel free to connect with me on, on LinkedIn. I'll put my LinkedIn handle in the description down below. Um, also, feel free to ask me a question in the comments about what other content you'd like to see or if you want a more thorough walkthrough of what I'm doing with my current project. So um, just let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys have a really, really good day. Um, it's going to be tough if you are breaking into UX, but it's not um, at all impossible. It's simply just a new learning curve that we need to adjust to. So um, I wish you the best of luck in your own journey. Um, make sure to subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.